Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna take a look at Flow Blade, KDN Life, and Shortcut with regards to one feature crossfades. A crossfade is a transition between two clips where the clip that ends slowly fades out to alpha while the new clip is laid under it. However, in Flowblade, this all happens on the same track. So what we have to do is to select both clips and use the Add Rendered Transition button. We will have it a solve, which will result in a crossfade. We will make it 30 frames long. We're going to use 264 and 8000 kilobits and apply. However, this doesn't work. In recent versions, thankfully, Flowblade shows why this doesn't work. There are missing frames for this kind of transition. To understand this better, let's take a look at Cadian Live. We will import the same clips here and arrange them as well. However, to make a transition, we have to put them on separate layers. So let's zoom in closer and let's add a dissolve transition. Let's shorten it to 15 frames. Now let's move it on top of the clip which ends here and then we drag the clip which is supposed to start on top. And slowly the new clip will fade in. We can also do it the other way around. We can put the other clip on top, again put the dissolve transition between them and drag the beginning clip at the bottom. However, we will need to change the dissolve type in the settings. And it also works. As you can see, we need that these clips sacrifice parts of their end in the smoke clip and their beginning in the space clip for this transition. And it's the same in flow blade. You need to sacrifice a few frames but Flowblade will not take them automatically. Let's take a look at Shotcut. When we import this here, we drag them to the timeline on just one track, and then we need to drag the new clip to the end of the first one, and then we can drag it onto the other one. We can see by exactly how many frames and then what happens is a new type of clip appears. We now have three clips. We have the first clip, then we have a kind of mixed transition clip, and we have the ending clip. So in Shortcut as well you need these extra frames, but Shortcut takes care of this automatically by you simply dragging clips on top of each other. In Flowblade, however, you need to provide these frames in a different way you need to go back 15 frames on the left and then cut it. And you need to do the same with the beginning of the other clip. Go 15 frames to the right, cut it again. Now select these two clips and press the delete button on your keyboard. This clip will automatically jump to the left. This whole thing is called float left, I believe. And now if you select these two clips, you can use the Add Rendered Transition button and apply. Except I miscalculated, we need one more frame apparently. So I need to remove one more frame. I can also use X to cut and press Delete. And if I select them both now and use the Add Rendered Transition button, then it finally works. And just like in Shortcut, we get this new clip on our timeline. So that was it. Please subscribe to the channel because there will be more videos regarding these free editors, including more comparisons and there are regular updates. I've shown you the main difference between Flowblade, Shotcut and Cadian Life when it comes to crossfades. I hope it was useful. Please write a comment about which method you prefer. 
Flowblade pre-renders the transition, which is better for performance. Shortcut creates a new clip type, which is elegant because it doesn't use an additional track. And Cadian Life uses a separate object between tracks for transitions, which makes it more flexible, but also requires you to look after more objects on the timeline. So please leave a like and write in the comments which one of these free ways you prefer for editing. See you in the next video. Ciao!